Hey guys, in the next three tutorials I'm going to show you how you can use a Raspberry Pi to check whether or not somebody is home by pulling a person's cell phone. Uh, the idea being that if you're home, your cell phone's home with you and you're on the Wi-Fi network. Pulling whether or not somebody is home and then taking an action because of it. In this case, it will be sending a text message and I will be showing you how you can turn your Raspberry Pi into a greeter. So all you're going to need to be able to complete this tutorial is of course a Raspberry Pi and uh, a phone that allows you to connect to your home network and you'll be able to, using a Pi, send a text message whenever you come home and react to when you come home. So the idea being is a greeter is not very useful but you could have your Raspberry Pi connected to a thermostat or some other devices around the house and it does things around the house and sends you a text message when it does so you're in the know or when you come home something changes and so it kind of like touches on the beginnings of home automation project that might be relevant to you. So first things first, to be able to evaluate whether or not you're home you're going to have to pull your cell phone to see if it's on your home network and the thing is, is whenever your phone logs onto the router it's possible that the router changes the IP address of the device that logs into it and so what we're going to need to do is assign a static IP address of our, for our phone in our home router. Now how you do this is going to be different depending on what device or what router you have. Uh, if you visit a website like portforward.com, it'll uh, tell you, and you go to the router section here, here it has all kinds of different companies that build routers, and uh, if you click on one of them, it'll start giving you instructions on how you can use uh, and log into that router, and then you'll have to, from there you'll have to set up a static IP address for your phone. So for me, the way that I do this is because I'm using an Apple Airport uh, Express for my router. I go into the airport utility and I go to my station here and I want to edit it and I go into network and here I can create a new reservation for my phone and if I create a new one I have to punch in the MAC address of my phone. Now the thing is, is the way you get your MAC address is going to change depending on what operating system you're running and what phone you're running. Here I just go into the settings and I scroll down to the bottom, I go to about phone and I go to hardware info and there it lists, lists my Wi-Fi MAC address. I punch that into my computer and then I can reserve uh, a spot on my router for this device. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is log into our Raspberry Pi and start trying to ping the phone to see whether or not the phone is home and on the network. So here I'm going to SSH into the Pi. Uh, you can be locally on your Pi if you want, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to type in SSH Pi at Raspberry Pi dot local. And my password is Raspberry. And then from here I'm going to navigate to the desktop directory and I'm going to create a new directory called Greeter. And in Greeter, I'm going to, using the command touch, create a new file called checkip.py, and this is an empty file. Now from here, uh, you can use a few different programs to write the script checkip.py. You can launch idle, you can launch not nano, or you can launch vim, which is what I'm going to do here. I hit I to start inserting uh, commands, and we're going to start writing. So first we're going to import the operating system. Um, OS and then from time we're going to import sleep so these are the two packages we need and then we're going to create a value here called phone IP and that's going to be equal to the IP address of the phone so in my case it's 10.0.1.25 so change this to match your phone's static IP and then I'm going to create a while true loop here and in this while true loop I'm going to get a response from a ping and the way that we're going to ping it, our phone is we're just going to use the simple operating system command ping-c1 space and then we're going to add in our phone IP address. So if you were to type this into the terminal directory uh, directly, uh, it would try and ping our phone. Then I'm going to create an if statement and if our response is equal to zero and I believe what that means is if we lose zero packets which means we got a response then we're going to say phone is online. Otherwise if we don't get a response of zero that means we lost some packets which suggests that we're going to print no phone detected which suggests that the phone's not on the network and thus I'm out of the house. Then we're going to sleep for two seconds so we do this uh, pinging every two seconds, hit escape to uh, quit, type in colon W, then colon Q to actually quit. 
And then you launch the program by typing in python3 checkip.py. We do that and we see that our phone is online. Now, if I log into the phone and I turn my Wi-Fi off, we should expect it to start not pinging. And here we see that now the ping is taking longer than it normally does. And then it's going to say, no phone detected. And now I've turned my Wi-Fi back on on my phone and we see that the phone is back online. So the idea is, is whenever I leave the house, uh, you know, I'm no longer on the network. The Pi is going to know that the phone is not detected. And when I return home and my phone joins the Wi-Fi network again, we know that I'm home. So there you have it. On to the next tutorial. For more tutorials like this, visit thezanshow.com.